Gannon Cup is named after past captain of the boat club, Kieran Gannon, who was captain of the club, I believe, in 37. Kieran Gannon graduated from medicine in 1939 in UCD and went on to join the, the Royal Army Medical Corps, I believe, and was tragically killed in Burma during the war in 1944. So just as a, as a mark to the man and a testament to the man, all the guys that rode with him pulled in together and, and you know, they, the race was born and the cup was you know, dedicated in his memory. We have the advantage there and that we have a few more guys that are a bit more experienced, probably a bit stronger. So I'd say UCD would be expected to win it. Having said that, anything can happen in a race. You know. um, it's hard to know. Today's the first time we've been out in the eight. Um, um, it's early in the season, so we're not really too sure what our level's at yet. We, we, we don't know what level Trinity are at, so it's impossible to say, you know, we just have to work on improving ourselves and get ourselves in as good condition as we can for a race in four weeks' time. The Ghana Cup is absolutely huge. It really is a huge disappointment if we don't win it. We really are very lucky that we've won the last three years and uh, we are expecting and we're training very hard to make sure that we, uh, we win in 2011. It is time, a huge time commitment. Uh, but that's just how the whole sports functions. Like these guys here, these students here, it's probably the wrong word to call them students. They're serious professional athletes. They're training 12 sessions every week and they will be training as much as Leinster Rugby, as much as you know, St. Patrick's Athletic or as much as Dublin GA or, or any uh, professional or, or well-recognized uh, amateur athletes. It's very time consuming, like it's, um, I'd say, yeah, it's about four or five hours a day of training, like so, it is, it's a, it's a big commitment. A lot of time, just have like two, two sessions in the gym a day, maybe a weight session and uh, maybe cross training, bike, things like that. I don't think there was any change in it until the, ch the course changed upstream. I don't think it was, it was no change at all. It was an annual event that you know held its held its attraction and uh, the usual build up of excitement. I never I never noticed any change. Crews, both crews, obviously got fitter. Uh, year round training was gradually coming into vogue. Uh, better equipment, the use of spade oars. I suppose we were we used spade oars here in 1961. Probably Trinity had them at that stage. We were the first, UCD was the first uh, Irish club to use what were the revolutionary crowd of spade oars at the time. And uh, a tulip shaped blade, I suppose you could describe them. And the modern, modern cleaver is a development of that. So, yeah, equipment and the oars, training, uh, nothing else, same rivalry. There's no doubt about it. I mean, uh, nobody in either university wants to lose the Gannon. And it's just the Cochrane Cup has come for the uh, senior girls, the same thing would apply. There's a lot of prestige attached to it, nobody wants to lose the Gannon Cup. Oh, right, coming off the bench! Next stroke! Charge! Can't be a non confident person and be a cox. You kind of have to be sure of yourself. You have to just be able to make a decision, like whether it's the right decision or the wrong decision, you have to just be able to go for it. You need to be aware of which station you're on, and then there's rules for the different arches you can take, whether you're on the south station or the north station. So, but yeah, it's tricky, and you need to, you have to be looking where the other boat are. Then you have to look at what your boat is doing. You have to check the rates. You have to think about what the coaches told you, the race plan, and then obviously you have to steer properly and look at the arches because you don't want 
to hit one. The arches are quite narrow, so you've got to get them properly lined up. It's, it must be a nightmare for a, a cox, I would have thought, because there isn't, much, uh, there isn't much of a margin of error on some of these arches, so getting lined up and then getting through them. And in the old days, when you had to go through a Connell Bridge, uh, we could talk about that when we get down there. In the old days, when you had to get through a Connell Bridge, you had uh, seven or eight rowing strokes uh, in, a, in, very confined, uh, in a very confined area. So, yeah, absolutely important to have a good cox out here. Absolutely important. Yeah. which is starting very shortly. Um, I just want to give you some instructions about the course. Uh, I don't know how, how, how familiar you are with the course, but it is actually quite dangerous. So you guys are in charge of your boats today, and safety is paramount in this race. Okay. Today is kind of Dublin ahead, which is uh, not too uh, long before the Gannon Cup, so it gives us a chance really to row over the course, race the course. It's a little bit longer, actually, the Dublin ahead compared to the Gannon course, but at least we can get familiar with the surroundings down below the weir. This is the final kind of race of uh, different categories and so on. There's about 35, 36 boats in it, so you know it's 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 a racing day. So everybody's got to get them, get their heads together for it and kind of get used to it. So it's a good it's a good preparation for Gannon Cup. Right? And if the first bridges right up to including uh, the four courts, there's a slight bend in favour of the north station. And it can sometimes be an advantage to have that. Now then there's a small bend coming up to Watling Street Bridge back to the south side. But it's generally deemed that the North Station is just a little bit more advantageous. I challenge UCD to the senior Gannon race. I accept your challenge. Right, we shall toss for stations. It's called Heads. Tails it is. Good. Well, the UCD men lost their toss and, of course, Trinity selected the most advantageous station and that's just the look of the draw, isn't it? If I was in a race going off from here now, I would definitely say I'd prefer the North Station. Yeah. Although, how often? I mean, does it mean that every crew comes down and has to draw off the South Station and feels he's beaten? You know, you can't view it like that either, but uh, if your crew is good enough, you're going to win. You know, if the crew is good enough, you're going to win. From my perspective, I like Gannon as a, an event. It's a great event. Uh, there's no other race of the year that gets this many people down. It's a great event for the club, and you know, win, lose, or draw, it's a bit of a spectacle. Uh, the race is very enjoyable. It's down through the city. It's a huge event. Uh, so, from my perspective, I'm delighted with it. It was ropey, but we managed to pull away from them. So, so we're happy now. It's, really, it's a good day for the club as well for winning. <laughs> 